An explorer basically is somebody who goes into a totally unknown area and gets information about it and uh, lets everybody know the information about that previously blank area. For many, many years, our expeditions navigated by a reliable clockwork watch. Um, we would be using the sun's position at local midday, for instance, um, and every time the sun moved 15 degrees an hour, we would say, right, well, there is my shadow. It's one o'clock, so I'm going to use 15 degrees from my shadow. Two o'clock, 30 degrees from my shadow. And then after six hours, it'll be over your shoulder. So it's your shadow which was the, what is now the arrow on the Garmin face. Having a GPS um, not only makes the navigation easier because of all the functions, the other point about it is, is it's telling you where you are. Now, in, certainly until 1990, as navigator, I used to have to, when we finish at the end of the day, you're very cold. After 10 hours of pulling, you, you know, you're very cold indeed. You want to get in your tent immediately and have a cup of coffee. Well, the other person goes in cooks everything, you're outside, you've got to put the sextant, you know, the theodolite up on the tripod, you've got to level the bubbles till it's dead accurate, and then you've got to find the altitude of a star or the sun. It might take you 40, 50 minutes to find the altitude, and when you've done that, you go into the tent, you've got another half hour with the sight reduction tables and the nautical almanac to work out exactly where you are. Now you go and you have a cup of coffee, you press a button and the Garmin will tell you where you are. Yeah, you have to be able in those areas to navigate very exactly. And the features that you may see during the moonlight periods could be very useful to you. But most of the time, it's the waypoints that you must record. And that will be leading you almost as a blind person through areas of great danger. I, I wouldn't say that Garmin is a brand for the serious explorer. I would, would say that Garmin is without a doubt the brand for serious exploration in difficult circumstances. It is meticulously designed. It's very, very robust. You are towing a very heavy weight, so you're breathing very hard. You're very likely to mist up your goggles or your visor or whatever and therefore seeing a small arrow for direction, which is absolutely key to progress, needs to be very carefully thought out. You know, this is a big, a big face. It's pretty easy to see. And if it's mounted in the correct way with the battery that's powering it somewhat hot, that's the ideal. But the best thing of all is to be able to go back when you realize that everything has changed and you're in a nightmare situation. And with the Phoenix, you've got a track back situation that you can just follow back out. And that is really good for the confidence in that sort of area. My job happens to be leading expeditions. That is how I make a living. Um, nobody pays me to do them, but they pay me afterwards, if they're successful, to write books about them and to give lectures all over the world. <laughs>